Hello and welcome back to my playthrough of Final Fantasy VI within the Final Fantasy Marathon. And in this episode, I will be entering the Castalian Empire's capital city, Vector. And I'll be sneaking into the Magitech Research Facility in order to save the espers that are being experimented on, uh, as we were warned by Ramu, as a means to try and stop Emperor Gestal from using the magic infused within the Magicite of Espers in order to become one step closer to world domination. So without further ado, let's get into it. I'm not going to do it for some reason, I didn't realise that Stray was uh, unequipped from Celeste last episode, uh, so after the whole Opera House sequence, uh, those two level ups she gained, she didn't gain a magic uh, plus, but I can do that this time. Ugly brute, better make tracks. No. Get stuff stolen off you. Guess I'll stay here and volunteer to be a soldier. In the army that destroyed our village? What about your promise to begin a new in Miranda? I don't want to lose my money, so I'm not going to rest in Vector. Sid, the director of Magitech Research, is a genius. He gave my child the gift of pure magic. General Celeste turned traitor? Why, the other side's sure to lose. Pledge your allegiance to the Empire. Yes. Fine. What? He's from the beginning of the game. They're dead. Right, I'm sure you can do it. Young people, hang in there. So she gives you a free heal, which is the one that you want. I need to get the blossom knife. Here leads to the actual uh, period of the movie. The Imperial Castle. Which, of course, we're not allowed in, so. Return of Scum. Let you pass. Well, I've, never, I I've never found this before. So you do say to run if you encounter it, so I'm curious to see what it's going to be like. I think it is, so yeah, you want to avoid all of this. Stay away from the Imperial Castle. General Leo refused the Magitech infusion. He's a warrior's warrior. But General Leo is, you know, he is the Jew. 
Now Celeste had no choice because she was infused at a young age. But before I talk to that guy up there, let's make sure I've been everywhere. I think I have. Shh, return the sympathizer. I've heard of you. While I distract the soldiers, climb onto the steel tower from this box and enter the facility. Already? Yes. I'm gonna be sick. Get out of here. So we go across, what do you Well, gotta toss it all. Hey. There we go. And he's got us free. There's nothing there, but we go here. I do like the theme for the Magic Tape Research to do. There's the bombs. And the commandos. And if you've um, played or seen bits of FF12, you know that um, this is a similar setup to uh, the Empire, Empire's enemies in 12. Points where um, you go further into the dungeon, you have to be careful because if you choose the wrong place, you end up uh, looking at the chests and stuff. But 
is a very cool way you go through the dungeon. Like, well, the thing with six and seven is the way you get through dungeons. It's very, very cool. I don't know if you explode both of these on them. No, 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 no. What about being careful if you can do attack? If you notice they've got high defense, I think that's because they want to start using magic. <coughs> I'm really not sure though. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. So might as well give it Celeste because there's no point giving it Edgar because he won't be attacking with his sword. We have got Thunderbolt now. Does the same thing. I think that'd be better to have. I'm all powerful, <laughs> oh, I'm collecting aspers, I'm extracting magic, and I'll restore the statue. What does he mean by that? You've been completely drained of your powers. Now you're useless to me. And you take a heart. I've accidentally gone the right way, which isn't good. This means I miss out on loads of speed. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's ridiculous. Can you attack the back one? Oh, that's perfect. Your auto crossbow should happen. Fuck up. Jesus. Is it still? I can't look. Is this nice having the magical weapons? is very helpful now. So luck gains HP plus 10%. Oh, 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 oh. I want to be in that room, however. We could probably be attacking one of these people. Loot, charge attack, didn't steal. Didn't get the thunder off. Never mind. There we go. So saving gains stamina. This is where the main bulk of the uh, chests and stuff are. Because I don't want to go down where Keth is free free and fever. Mm. 
easy way that to the mirror because change the that is just ridiculous. Magic plus one. Oh, she's on 42 to 45, so she gained two, but she gained three there. So I think. Oh, back at the beginning of the research, so let me know. <laughs> Don't tell me all the chests have been taken just because I'm not here. Not how this shit works. You don't always get that to do you? I'll get most of the chests and then go from there. Oops. You didn't have to do anything with blitz if it was randomised as to what I was about. gain anything upon that one.
I was expecting a hit to take me down, but... I know there's a chest down here, but I also have a leak. from this way of importance, that is my question Oh yep, that's up, we need to run. That's fantastic, we're going to waste the time. That should be everything now. Right, heal up.
I'm gonna get more. I see. It's like FF12, the trap room. Lock down HP plus 10% again. It doesn't look that way though. It doesn't have the best HP. Do 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 do. <coughs> Might as well use a tent. I've got them, so. Do 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 do. There's some big moments about to happen though. Hope you're ready. Anyway, let's go. 76%. Yummy. that friends and is trying to drain them of their power. I too suffered my turn in one of those glass tubes. We drained our powers and threw us away too. We haven't long to live. We will follow women's needs and give you our power. Our friends are all gone. We haven't much time left. No choice but to entrust you with our essences. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> 
Plus one. Um, but I mean, well, no, she's nearly done anyway. I'm gonna probably give her, give her a siren. I'll give her a siren, boost the heat for a bit. Level 5 fantastic. The only ones at a level at the moment are 5, so we move. Like half an hour and I've only just done a few machines there. That's the thing, so much less. Done the machines. There we go, there's nothing else. Sometimes you do get other stuff, but. main research facility now. Gobbler! Oh, cherry famous. Oh, okay. Just one magic point, really. Need one more for Celeste then. That's, that's fine by me. That's what we want. It's going to be a really annoying boss fight coming up as well. Anyway, there we go, that's the last done. She leveled up as well. She got an extra magic stat increase, which we like to see. We've got Siren and Kirin. Super Siren. Shiva, I think I've said that. So, we're kind of level up. So, that's what we get on HP plus 10%. Uh, Luck will be getting Stamina plus 1 and Edgar Strength plus 1. Which is of course good for him. Of course, good to get a stamina plus one for luck and saving because they're fast characters. Um, as you can see, um, Edgar does ridiculous damage, so you might as well keep that damage up. Okay, boss fight number two. Number 52, is it? Have I got the right number? 24, nowhere near. <laughs> Yeah. 
Maybe Celeste gets the good RNG with the uh, weapon, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. On fire, we got a blizzard in there. So, here you got all of these. What are these ones? You got Madwin, um, Bismarck, the way. What's the poet? Oh, that's Nightmare. That's Cat is that Catablepus? No, Catablepus is up there. You've got Phantom in the top left. That green one, what's that one called? Now, some of the espers in six you don't get again, or you don't get for ages anyway. You want to help me, but I haven't long to live. Just as a freak did before me, I'll give to you my power. What are you doing there? What's this? So, Esper Magical Power can only truly be transferred when one of them passes away. Receive magic sites. <laughs> Professor Sid, General Celeste, and who might these dubious characters be? Your troops? No, you see. Can it be true that you came here as a spy seeking to cause an uprising? Celeste. So that's it, Magisite. Sid, you miserable blockhead. Now, General Celeste, the game's over. Bring me those Magisite shards. Celeste, you deceived me. Of course not. Have a little faith. <laughs> she has tricked you all. Celeste, that's so you. Lock, please believe me. I... Now, exterminate all of them. Lock, let me protect you for once. Maybe now, now you'll believe me. Celeste, what are you doing? Stop it. Celeste sent them away. Celeste. Oh, 
Oh, what happened? <coughs> this is a disaster. Your fighting has caused the comp capsules to rupture. Their contents are spilling out. There's nothing left in them, you moron. Quick, over here. So yeah, Quick is... Uh, Sid is not a bad guy. At all. Um, Shout, that's what it's called. A unicorn. To get cure to remedy the spell safe shell. Mad one, magic power plus one for mad one as well. Um, MP plus 10% for phantom. HP plus 10% for shoot. Carbon key get nothing. And Bismarck get strength plus two. And fire team drain. Right, once, um, once I get fire two with Ifrit, I'm going to change the Bismarck for, uh, Dead Go, because that is beautiful stuff right there. Magic Power plus one, I mean, Madwin. I think I'll give that to a certain character that's going to be playing that, I might as well say, and Terra. But she's going to be low level. So the magic power plus ones will be streaming through. Um, MP plus 10, not bothered. HP plus 10. I mean, we've got that with Siren, but now no one's got that. Um, but he, oh, hang on. Um, thingy has removed. Keeping with that for now. Hmm. <coughs> 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 Let me go from there. No, let's do it. I'm trying to be more strategic about my setup. Kefka has used me. Used the Empire. What have I done? The life energy of those espers. You've helped me come to a decision. I'm going to talk to the Emperor and have this stupid war stopped. So the final section of the research facility. Three characters getting out of the facility through the train tracks. Celeste, I've known her since she was a baby. I raised her as if she was my own daughter. But she was forced to become a Magitech Knight and has done some awful things. If I could only talk to her, I'd apologise for the way her life has turned out. No, it's Kefka. Go. We've all got some bloody powerful characters on us. So this is just one of those dungeons with like multiple boss fights. This is what they have to do. Um, the savings gained nothing from that level up actually. Get that up. <coughs> of course the base stats, but no extra bonus stats. Idiots, what have I done? Turn right, 
Hmm. <coughs> ha, I'm alright. Jesus Christ. Anyway, that's when you have to manually like change direction. He just does it automatically eventually. Oh, they get an attack. Black like Unlock still has the least amount of HP, even though I gave him the HP plus 10% booster upon his level ups. Right, here we go, number 128, left blade and right blade. <laughs> to the fire to help you know. And there we go. Still 
Follow the meat field, that's... Me, follow me. That's a lot, just kill it. One thousand and seventy nine is just a bit of damage. I was starting to worry. What's up with Celeste? We'll talk later, let's get out of here. So we leave the Empire for now. Crud, what a mess. I don't think so, you won't get away. This is where you get set, sir, as a playable character for the first time. He's character number 9 to be introduced. There's two more to be introduced in the first half of the game, and then you get three sequel characters late game. Come on, let's not overstay our visit. We're out of here on the bubble. Right. Speaking of which, maybe we should be leaving. Something horrible is coming. Oh, what in there? Let's go. Boss fight number four. I forgot about this boss fight, but it does count. Setsa has slots for all the gambling stuff. You get Kite Sif in 7, who you'll be seeing who has something similar. I'm worried about Terra, let's return to Zozo. Terra, who's that? I'll explain on the way about Terra, Espers, the Returners. So Setsa finally gets filled in. Well, Setsa isn't a bad guy. He just does things his own way, or his own gambling way. We're all here. Terror. Magisite. So we've got a lot of Magisite now. But that's just the way it is. Father. I remember it all. I was raised in the Esper's world. The Esper world. So here is Madwin, who is one of the six uh, that we got, and he has the magic plus one proficiency bonus, which I'd like to be using with Terra. Emergency, something's coming through the gate. We don't touch the Esper world. Uh, here they yeah. Yeah. Listen well and think clearly. What will you do? Return together. She's pretty weak. Better let her rest for a moment. 
Did I awaken you? Yeah, an esper. What's that pendant for? It's yours now. It helps protect the Esper world. Esper world? Boy, did I take the low road or what? The Esper folk are pretty upset, you being a human and all. You the one who saved me? I am Madwin. I... I tried living in the human world, a bit of a error there. That world is filled with desire, greed and loathing. It's highly infectious. Are humans and Espers truly so different? So, I'm an example of the evil in this world, huh? No, I mean... I'll return to my world tomorrow. You'll need a guide. So the espers don't like it. <coughs> Everything alright? What? The human's gone. What's wrong, Madwin? If you don't want to return to your world, you may stay here. But humans and espers can never coexist. How do we know for sure unless we observe for ourselves? How do we know? Unless we... Observe for ourselves. And off they go. Doing their own thing and they give birth to Terra. We've given her a name. What? It's Terra. Not bad, huh? So Terra is half human, half Esper. Two years later. Humans. The nexus between our worlds has opened again. The wind, so odd, just like two years ago. But something's different now. Troops have come seeking our magical power. So this was when Gestalt found um, the Esper world. Blast it, they've made it as far as the Elder's house. So this explains why all of these Espers were in the Magitech Research Facility, because they were found here. Ah, we finally found it. Those ancient writings told us of this world and described the awesome magical properties of these beasts. Grab them. Riches to any man who captures an esper. Go. Terra's alright. We've no choice. We must do what we've been avoiding. You mean the magic barrier? Here's the plan. We'll cause a tempest that will sweep all the nasty creatures out of our realm. Then we'll seal the gate. I am the last of our kind able to cast this magical seal. But in your state, you might just pass away, but at least we'll finally be safe. Madonna. I, for one, will not miss the other side. Let's do it. We have no other choice. Soon the humans will arrive. This is all because of that human girl. Nonsense. I'm sure she helped the others find us. Get a grip on yourself. No, she's one of them. Soon she'll be wearing our hide. Ah. So she's made... He's made the... Uh, made Madonna run off because he's an absolute idiot. The link between worlds is surely weakened over the past thousand years. Everyone's here feeling uneasy. What are you... Where are you going? Just... Madonna's getting drawn into the next world. Impossible. It's too late. I've already begun casting the barrier. There's no turning back. Look what popped out. Ugh, just the way we reach a veritable bonanza.
Madwin, I'm not their friend. I understand that. Thank you. Can you make it back here? Sure. Tara. Madonna. They got flung out. A human girl? Who is she? Please take care of my baby. Your girl? Mm. And she's half human and half. Oh, absolutely fascinating. <laughs> she will help us realise our dream faster than we ever imagined. No. Quiet, my dear. We're disgusting, man. We will own this world. <laughs> so everything has been revealed, but yeah, he is an absolute prick. So he stole Terra off of Madonna. Killed Madonna. Oh. Madwin can't do anything. And, well, using Terra as the reason why the Castalian Empire has grown so powerful. Well, of course, it's not Terra's fault. Um, but her powers have sped up the process. I think it's been I don't actually know her age, but she'd have been two here. So I don't know. Uh, I think she's 20, because I think they said it was 18 years ago when Gestalt found the gate. But yeah, he is an absolute prick. That was my father. I'm a product of an Esper and a human. That's where I got my powers. Now I understand. I finally feel I can begin to control this power of mine. So Gestor must have known the secret of the Esper's power back then. And those Espers at the facility were grabbed during that expedition. That means Celeste's power came at the expense of an Esper. They can't get away with this. We have to strike back. What's happening in Marsh? Maybe we should head back that way. The airship's ready. Come on. By all means, take a turn at the wheel. Oh, 
to get the strike plus one. Yeah. And we've got the shiver. Once shiver's done, we go for HP plus ten maybe. So this was a huge episode, but that's fine by me. But anyway, that marks the end of this episode of my playthrough of Final Fantasy VI within the Final Fantasy Marathon. And in the next episode, I'll be returning to Narsh. We'll be finding out the next step required for stopping Emperor Gestel and his empire. Which will lead me back to the Vex continent, but this time we'll be going into a secret area uh, that has been discovered which will help... Um, with the fight against the Emperor and will hopefully help the Espers. Until then, hope you have enjoyed. I'll see you in the next episode.